This is Reed Harkness, better known as older brother to Sam Harkness. Uh, he is a director. Yeah, here, I'll switch it around. Okay. This is my brother Sam. I've been following him since he was 11. He's the subject of a long-term documentary uh, called Sam Now. Uh, follows him for tw 25 years as a really significant thing happens in our family and we work to solve a family mystery. How did the purpose of the movie change over the years? I think the original purpose was like the enjoyment of, well, like the Sam films for me were like, I had some fun ideas. I was like, it's gonna, it's a fun project. I had to make, you know, I think that part of making them um, enticing to you was like a factor. As it shifted into the, the story about your mom, you know, it definitely became something more was like, oh, now I'm like observing these like family patterns and I'm kind of r removing myself in ways from the, um, that thing that we were doing that was like, kind of just like, we're just playing, you know? It went also to like, you know, it's like a mature, you, you grow up and you mature and you're like, oh, I want to have these conversations, but it's hard, but, so. Was there like an arc of like innocence to like heavy seriousness? <laughs> that yeah. We, yeah. And then it dies. It goes pretty deep. <laughs> what do you most appreciate about our relationship? Pushing for, for growth and emotional growth. And I think our conversations are like, we talk about things that are really important to us. And I think we don't just dilly dally around like talking about nothing. It's usually like important things. All right, next, I go. <laughs> what is the biggest change you noticed in me since we started the project? <laughs> you went from somebody who, like, you know, believed that you didn't, like, really need to, like, dwell in emotion, like, the emotions that were hard for you. And then you had, like, a transformation where you're like, I really need to, like, look into my feelings and you know i had a significant tr you had a significant trauma a very significant one and you stuffed it away for a while and then you you looked into it and like begun a, a begun your own healing journey <laughs> like and it's just it's beautiful to to witness i'm asking you yeah. How does our dynamic change when it, when the camera's rolling? I mean, I think we, we still hold a lot of that playtime energy, I think, and especially when the camera's rolling, I think we always have to have like a little bit of time to like get out that play energy first, and then we can like get to more serious stuff, but that's always been my feeling. Wh which scene did not make it into the film and why not? There's one shot of Jared. It's like Jared totally turned around after, after we found Joyce in my opinion, and in my view, like what I saw, he just like came back to life. Like he was just so depressed and like just totally lying on the floor, not wanting to do anything. And then all of a sudden he sprang to life and there's this great shot. You're standing in a parking lot and he just like spins around and he goes and he like tackles you by the foot. Like he grabs your foot and you fall over. And it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just represented to me this like, okay, Jared's back. Um, <laughs> one that I wanted in, which I know you filmed because I, I told you this is what I wanted to do. I was mic'd up like this and I was like, okay, I want you to film me like standing up and taking the mic off as if it's like the end of the movie. I want to be like, I'm done and that's it. And then, and then roll credits. <laughs>